The catastrophic flooding, increasing hurricanes and wildfires here at home and out west are raising more concerns about climate change. Minnesota Senator Tina Smith is currently the lead negotiator on a federal bill that the Boston Globe has called, quote, the most important bill Congress can pass to prevent climate change. A short time ago, I spoke to the senator. Take a look. And joining us now is Senator Tina Smith. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Great to be with you. All right. You have a clean energy bill that really is getting a lot of attention. The question is, though, are even Democrats going to be able to support it, much less Republicans? Well, the the proposal that I'm working on is a clean electricity plan. And what it would do is it would get the electricity sector in this country to 80% clean electricity uh, by 2030. And what is great about this bill is that it accomplishes that by also keeping utility rates stable for ratepayers and for you know big industry consumers uh, like the taconite mines in northern Minnesota. Uh, this bill has broad support. I'm really excited to see support from utilities and from labor unions and um, you know also from people who care a lot about reducing carbon emissions. So we are in the midst of negotiating this as part of the uh, Democrats' budget bill. Um, I would that wouldn't be true to say that all of the details are hammered out and we have 100% agreement on everything, but I'm optimistic we're going to be able to get this done. All right, even with some of the conservative Democrats like Joe Manchin. Well, I've had many conversations with Senator Manchin, and you know what he cares about is that we have energy independence in the United States, and that he has good opportunities for folks that live in West Virginia. And I'm excited to see that even the utilities, the big utilities in West Virginia, see the advantages of moving to a clean energy future. This really is the future, and the question is: Are we going to lead, or are we going to follow um, as we move towards this energy transition? And I think Senator Manchin wants us to be on the cutting edge of. Innovation and technology for new technologies, for example, like carbon capture, as well as for renewable technologies like battery storage. So we're working with them very closely. Okay. You are the former president of Minnesota Planned Parenthood. Is Roe v. Wade going to be overturned by this Supreme Court? Well, certainly the decision that the Supreme Court issued in the dead of night this week, uh, failing to stop this clearly unconstitutional ban on abortions in Texas, essentially banning all abortions because this bans abortions after um, there's a, some sort of a, a cardiac um, ability to test some sort of you know um, cardiac activity. Um, it, it is deeply disturbing and concerning. Now, the Supreme Court has yet to rule um, on the uh, merits of this case, and there are other cases coming before the Supreme Court um, on abortion rights, but this should be no surprise to us because there is a strong um, anti-abortion um, conservative bent on the Supreme Court, and uh, I'm deeply worried. And you know, I'm thinking about the women in Texas right now who they don't care about politics, they don't care about what's going on with the Supreme Court. They're trying to figure out whether they are going to have the ability to control their own lives and their own bodies. And the failure of the Supreme Court to stop. Uh, implementation of this law puts those women in, in jeopardy. It's just a terrible thing. I want to ask you about something that's in the infrastructure bill, a proposed $100 million for Minnesota for broadband, which is so badly needed. I know that you have talked a lot about this issue. Well, this has been revealed as such an important issue. We knew about it before COVID, but certainly COVID showed us what a huge challenge this is for so many families. I mean, I've talked to Minnesota families that literally have to go outside a fast food restaurant for their children to be able to get their homework done uh, because of the lack of access to broadband. In the bipartisan infrastructure bill, which we are moving through the House and the Senate right now, Minnesota will see about 100 uh, at least a hundred million dollars to continue to expand broadband. And that's going to make a big difference to over 80,000 households who will be able to see broadband in Minnesota because of this bill. Um, and in addition to the other things that we're working on, I believe that we are, you know, slowly but surely, and I hope faster uh, rather than slower, going to get that broadband expanded everywhere because it's necessary uh, if you want to be a part of the 21st century education or healthcare or um, economic opportunity. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar brought members of the so-called squad to Minnesota to talk about trying to block the Line 3 pipeline. Where do you stand on that? Well, it's interesting that you asked that question as we're talking about my bill to uh, 
bring clean energy into our economy at a much faster rate. Uh, you know, this uh, Line 3 pipeline is 90% complete. Uh, it has worked its way through many, many years of environmental review and environmental process. And frankly, Esme, I choose to focus on the things that I have some control over, which is getting these um, clean electricity bills and uh, incentives for clean power moving through and getting passed through Congress, because that's going to be one of the things we need to do to reduce demand for this, uh, for these dirty fossil fuel oils that is going to mean how we move forward in this country. So, you know, it's been a very controversial topic and strong feelings on both sides. And I certainly respect the rights of everybody to um, make their voices be heard on this issue. But I'm focusing on what we can do in the next 10 years to reduce demand for fossil fuels and clean up our electricity sector. All right. Well, Senator Tina Smith, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Esme. It's great to be with you.